Neves Knives. I'm Jared and we got a first impressions video. I have a few knives over here on the side, but first I want to show off this Liang Ma Field Duty EDC with the dual grit edge. We have a beautiful toothy finish on this side. Very aggressive, about a, about a 600 grit, a little lower. And then we have a beautiful mirror polish. Let me grab something you guys can read. A beautiful mirror polish finish on this side. And so it's got the dual grit finish, about uh, five micron on this side. It came out really good. It was a little tough deburring. Um, it didn't want to deburr like really nicely, but um, but it is incredibly sharp as you guys can see. It's still very toothy while still being incredibly sharp. So um, we'll see um, how this holds up for the owner. I'm not testing it, but the you know once the owner gets it back, I did keep the same angle on both sides polished on the the show side is i figure that's the side you're gonna be looking at now a couple people asked me what's the benefits of this well you can go watch a cut test video on cedric and ada's channel where he shows uh an edge retention video with a dual grip edge and it got insane results like incredible results like it doesn't even make sense how long the edge retention lasted on that now with this lmax steel i don't know if it'll get the same results i will say it uh worked out really good it did sharpen up really good it took a nasty sharp edge um it was difficult to deburr it which you know with the dual grit you might you know maybe that's like that on all dual grits i'm not really sure um if that has anything to, I don't think that has anything to do with the Almax is what I'm saying. That's just the way a dual grit finishes. Anyways, it did turn out really good though. And now um, the next one I'm going to do, I think we, I might do two different angles on it. Um, but anyways, let's get into these knives. Now these knives were sent as a gift and I want to thank the person that sent it. Thank you so much. I don't, I don't think I can, I should say his name, but he knows who he is. Thank you, man. You, this is amazing. Um, you guys have no idea how much things like this bless and benefit this channel. So first off, we have the CJRB Large Feldspar. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these so bad because I have the mini and this one's the big one. I don't know why I never, you know, got one because it is pretty awesome. Um, I, I've literally only unboxed it and then I waited to film this because I didn't want to spend too much time with it. Um, you know, I didn't want to mess up like my first impressions on it, even though I have looked at all of them. So technically this is still kind of a first impressions, but awesome, awesome knife, great thumb stud action. Great size. I do like this size better than the small one, but I, I like this size knife. Now, the small one is quite a bit smaller. Here is the small one really quick just for you guys to see. Now, obviously, it's just a smaller version of it. They have um, some really nice micarta versions. This one's the D2 version, which this is a great price knife. I mean, this is a really good price for this knife. Very, very smooth on ceramic bearings. But they have a micarta version with their ARRPM 9 steel that's also, that's really good micarta. I mean, like, just really nice micarta. Um, next. Oh, <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> Bang! The CJRB. I think this is the Crag. Is that the name of it? Um, hold on. Yeah, the Crag. Um, I've never tried the Crag. I think they have a version with a lock that's back here. Um, I've never tried this one. There's a lot of CJRBs and artisans I've never tried. Great flipping action. The Ergos is amazing on this thing. We do have a beautiful sheep's foot blade here. Um... Yeah, we got a, a finger choil. It's a little tight, but that's a good finger choil still. Or not good, meaning big, but it's still, it's very comfortable. My finger doesn't go over the edge, but it is a little tight, but I can definitely use it, especially for like push cuts, because with push cuts, I tend to put my finger a little bit more over the flipper tab. 
Um, nice access to the liner. Good flipping action. Very smooth. I bet I could reverse flick it. Oh, yeah. Deep carry clip. And then we have the, the fake carbon fiber over G10, which does actually look good with this red pivot. Um, looks really slick. Um, the all black with just the red pivot collar. Let's get to the next one. This next one is really exciting because I have been wanting to check this one out for a while. So many people, I know it looks very similar. Is it the same? They're like basically the same. This is a little bit different height of the blade, I think, maybe. Is that the exact same? Is this a is this a feldspar? No. I mean, this is flat. This is kind of, I forget the name of this one. <laughs> so, I guess this is another feldspar. I didn't know that they did flat scaled feldspars. So, this is the same thing as this, just this one has the contoured scales. This one has the ARRPM9 steel. And which is really awesome, but I did not know before this that they did a flat scaled version of the Feldspar. I knew they did the Micarta version and I knew they did an ARPM9 steel one, but I thought that that was only in Micarta. I didn't know they did it in G10 as well with flat scales. So that's pretty cool to know. Um, I don't know which one's more comfortable, but I guess time will tell because they're both really comfortable in the hand. <laughs> Great thumb stud action. The lockup is, it looks a little heavy, 70%, uh, 60%, which some of these, I did hear that some of these um, CJR, CJRB knives did have a little bit um, of later lockup. Good ergos. That's not a big deal as long as the geometry is set up for that type of lockup. Kind of like uh, the rats, right? The, the Ontario rat knives, they all have late lockup, but they also have incredible lock strength for a liner lock. Let's look at this one. Yeah, you see this one's kind of the same way. Um, I believe even my mini is like that too. Yeah, same thing. So it seems pretty consistent across the board. And, you know, as long as it's not going over to 100% and you have strong lockup, which these do. Oh, we didn't check the crag, did we? This one's a little bit, a bit earlier. Very solid though. But yeah, very awesome, man. I'm so happy to have these because th this was a company that I, I was slacking on. I really was for a while. And I had my reasons, but uh, yeah, awesome, awesome knife knives uh and i really do appreciate this man this is so awesome it's awesome to one get okay so when people donate knives to the channel one it benefits me for content obviously right we do a lot of giveaways so it also helps with those it also helps like if i wanted to trade them or sell them or anything for the channel like and even if i don't right which Nine times out of ten, I don't, but I am planning on having a big knife sale soon. But even if I just kept them for the channel, it, it helps with revolving content. Um, I can get a bunch of videos out of them and, you know, testing and all different types of stuff. This one has the ARRPM9 steel, which I just recently did the test on the Scoria. I've been wanting more of that to, you know, to really get some testing on that. I've never had the Crag. Um, I, I was wanting a large Feldspar. It helps when I'm doing the Feldspar videos or putting it in the video. I also have the large version. Like, there's just so many benefits to knives being donated to the channel um in a massive massive way i really really appreciate this thank you so much Ooh, <laughs> i hit the knife with the knife sorry oh man i'm apologizing to the knife sorry about that knife uh but yeah awesome man this thing has some really good thumb stud action wonder which one's better so what's this Ooh, that's tough so the thumb studs on this one i I feel like they're better placed. They're very close, but I think this one's a little bit better. Maybe it's the way this handle is down here in my hand. 
they're both well placed, but I think this one's just a little bit better placed. Um, I will say that I think this one is smoother. Yeah, it is. A little bit more glassier. And this one has a coated blade, so it might be just a break-in thing. Which is still very, very smooth, and I might just need to oil it. I don't know. Um, but there you guys go. I love you guys, man. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys liking, following, giving comments, and everything you guys do for the channel. You guys are amazing. Dude, thank you for the knives. I love you guys. Peace.